Welcome. Today we're going to look at uh, Obsidian Sync and why I think you should use it, why I think it's a better option than iCloud or any of the other alternative services. Before we do that, I wanted to let you know there's a few ways to support the channel. Probably the biggest thing if you're watching this video on Obsidian is to take my course on getting started with Zettelkasten. You can find that on Skillshare. And if you go to curtispacale.ca slash Skillshare, you will get taken there. I get affiliate fee, stuff like that. There's also a link directly to the course below. We stream Fridays at 6 a.m. Pacific, where I do these videos, and I talk about Obsidian and answer your question. That's it. Let's look at uh, Obsidian Sync. So Obsidian Sync. If you go to obsidian.md, click the sync thing, which probably you know, obsidian.md slash sync, you will find out that there's Obsidian Sync. And it costs $4 a month if billed annually. Always remember that. Uh, so with 50% early bird pricing for a limited time. And so I pay monthly for this. It's private and fully encrypted. Um, it gives you like version control, basically where it finds uh, old files, not files, it keeps old files, stuff like that. That's the basics of Obsidian Sync. You can access that in your, oh man, I got a lot of plugins. Uh, you can access that in um, your plugins. You got to turn it on first. And then you can pick your remote vault. Currently, I'm syncing my status. I've labeled this as my M1 Air. And oh, and so someone in, in um, the stream wants to say that in Japan time, it's Friday at 2200 Japan Standard Time, by the way. So if you're in Japan, that is when I stream. 6 a.m. is 2200 Japan Standard Time. So Ryu, here's a question for you. Is that standard time notation? It's 2200, not 10 o'clock? Just wondering. So, because around here it'd be 10 o'clock, not 2200. Although I always use, I guess, the 24 hour clock. Um, so you can view and restore your deleted files, sync activity, right? Uh, exclude folders. If there's something you don't want to be synced because it's really private and you just don't want it on anyone's system, you can turn that off. Um, you can choose, like, these are the ones I don't want to do. So you can see I have everything selected because I just want it all selected. Uh, you can sync images if you want it, sync audio files. I don't have audio files, so I've left this off. Because um, there is actually like a record feature in Obsidian if you want that. You can sync videos. Again, I don't have any videos. I don't really store any PDFs in here. That's what I use DevonThink for. And I'll put a link up above to my two uses. Um, what I use DevonThink for and what I use Obsidian for. Short version, DevonThink is for other people's thoughts. Obsidian is for my thoughts and sync all other unsupported file types. So that's it. Next up, here's where I really think the power comes from Obsidian Sync, because you can sync all these other things, uh, everything I've showed you so far, you can do that with iCloud, with Dropbox, with box.com, with any other web dev server, whatever supports um, syncing, syncing of files. And I used iCloud for a while, it was great. No real problems there. But here's where you get the real power of it. Um, Syncing your settings. So I can sync my main settings. I switched over to this theme yesterday, which is Cybertron, I believe. Uh, yeah, Cybertron. And this will now sync over to my iPad. Uh, appearance settings. I can choose or choose not to sync this, right? And I can, again, on my iPad, these are all the same settings. I can choose or choose not to sync these things. Themes and snippets, hotkeys. This is that's excellent, like being able to switch your hotkeys back and forth and have them show up on both devices. Perfect means I don't have to reset them twice, which you do have to do with iCloud or Dropbox or any other system. Uh, my core plugin list, core plugins, and the community plugins, and installed community plugins. And that's really it. That's what I think the biggest power is in syncing with uh, Obsidian Sync is the settings. Syncing your settings has just been stellar for me. Uh, it's been like a good, good choice. Now, there are a few plugins that are not going to work on my iPad. Um, very few, almost everyone does. So I wouldn't, I'd go in thinking that it's going to work and only one or two don't work. Um, the other good thing is you're supporting Obsidian and you're paying $5 a month, $4 a month, uh, early bird pricing to actually continue to support the application. Because one thing to remember is if you are not the client, then you are the product. And in this case, I am the client because I'm paying the money, which is excellent. So I suggest that Obsidian Sync is the best option for syncing your files, that the other ones are okay. Uh, and I suppose some people have like real, um, if you're going to run your own sync server or something like that, that has your own special encryption on it because you have um, 
something you really need to be careful with. That's great. But Obsidian is end-to-end -end encrypted. It does allow you to provide the, the encryption key, so I provided my own encryption key to it. And I trust them. Um, and I also don't have enough, like there's nothing super sensitive where if anybody got it, like the worst that would be is I said something, I was grumpy about my wife that day. So that's probably the worst that could happen. My wife would say, oh, you're grumpy with me that day. And I'd say, yes. Funny enough, after like almost 20 years, I'm sometimes grumpy with you. She's sometimes grumpy with me. That's really it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. Subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. But really turn off your notifications on your devices because you've got kids to hang out with your books to read, stuff like that. Other ways to support the channel is take one of my courses on Skillshare. You can find all the links to those below. You're most likely interested in the one about getting started with Zellcasting, which is on Skillshare. We stream Fridays at 2200 uh, Japan Standard Time, if you want to know, or 6 a.m. Uh, Pacific. That's it. Oh, and there's a Discord channel. You can join that as well below. Have an excellent day.